Welcome to another vlog. This has been a highly requested Poundland video. Can I spend a hundred pound in Poundland? And I think I can because I've got a clothing section in there, but because I'm spending this much money, I definitely need a trolley. So let's get going. First up, I just spotted right at the entrance, they have Twin Peaks. These are Poundland's dupe of Toberone, and they sold out last year and they were selling on eBay for about £5 each. So I never got to try them. So I'm going to get two of these today to start off my shopping. Next up, I'm going to buy these feet hair removal cream packs. These are actually from China, but in Boots and Superdrug, these are around £7. You get the hair removal cream in the packet and then you get two wax strips. And I'm gonna use this on my arms, just because I know a lot of you will speculate, but I always try to shave my arm hair because I'm flipping hairy, and I always end up leaving clumps. It's just so easy to smother this on. So yeah, another two pound. You're not gonna prank me with it, are you? Don't give me ideas. <laughs> Poundland are now selling dinosaur and unicorn plasters and you get a whopping 75 per pack. So I'm going to be picking up the unicorn ones today to put in our first aid box. Next going in the basket is infant paracetamol which is in liquid form for age 6 plus and also Panadol Actifast because I absolutely love them because they work so quickly. So in they go. I love stocking up with medical supplies at Poundland. This is a new range of Poundland skincare products. They're called Hashtag Six, and they have anti-aging eye cream, they have cleansing water, anti-aging day cream, and night cream. And look at this, a really nice package for a pound. Now, I'm gonna try the cleansing water. If you have spot prone skin, they have Witch Naturally Clear Cleansing Lotion, and they also have color correcting that sticks. I'm in the makeup section now and they have a range of Ardell lashes. Now these are normally around £5 a pair. They have all different designs. They've even got individual lashes and little sections here. How amazing is that for a pound? Batiste, I think that's how you pronounce it, root concealer. And they have it for light blonde, honey blonde and also brown hair. We're now at the Pep & Co clothing section where we're going to buy a few outfits for ourselves and I've just found this t-shirt which is reduced. It says influencer, 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 influencer. And I think nobody wants to walk around saying they're a social media influencer, that's why it's four pounds. So that's going to go back on the shelf right now. In my last video, lots of people are asking where did my top come from and it is this one. They also have it in black and white and they're only six pounds. So get one, it's really good quality for six pounds. I had to buy two in different colors because I like the top and why not? Better on buying them all in the same color because then people think you don't wash them. I absolutely love this style of hat. But when I wear it in videos, because I've got quite a few at home, everybody turns around to say, oh, they don't suit you, they look awful. But they're £4 in here. What do you think, Callum? How about that one like Britney Spears would wear or something? That's exactly why I like them. 90s style, but they're £4 each if you'd like one. I don't need one because I've got loads at home, but I do love those hats. Holly, what is that? Well, I found these. I really like them. That looked like mustard on a shirt. The only thing is, I don't like the end bits, but the woman on the picture sort of like tied it up to make it look like more fashionable. So I don't know whether to try these on. They are £10 each. So Hold one up to yourself, not the yellow one. It's a bit big, isn't it? Well, I might try this on with some jeans and see what it looks like. They've got a lot of stuff half price in here, look, this jacket, but I can see why, look, I just don't like the balls. But yeah, I really do like that one, it's just the bottom. I'm going to see if there's something I can do with it, I'm going to see, so we're going to put them there and I'm going to try on. Winter is coming, so it's time to get the Ugg boots on and the leggings, and these are super soft. They're £3 each, so I'm going to get two pairs of these today. They also have jeggings in here and they're £7 a pair. I like this colour too, but I don't know what that'll go with. 
but I don't know if I need a 14 or a 16. I don't like really tight around my stomach because I've got a scar here. So what I might do is grab a 14 and a 16 and try it on, but I'm definitely gonna be getting a pair of these today. Oh, I don't think, I think they've got 18. Oh, 16 and 14, so I'm gonna try these on. I might try this color too if they have the Sweet. size. Sweetie, can I just say, you don't have anything in your wardrobe that would suit that color. Well, I have to buy something then. I've got £100 to spend. They've got a selection of long sleeve tops and I've just found this one. I think it's quite nice, but Callum's going, it's horrible. But for £4, I found it in my size, so I might try it on. I'm going to try it on. I'm going to be in there trying on loads of stuff. They have really nice dressing gowns for £10. They've got this polka dot design. They've got this star one. And then here which is really nice for men, is a black one, and they've also got this navy one here. Oh, it looks like the men's ones are slightly more expensive at £12. We have a bit of an issue. I've gone to go to the changing rooms and they've blocked them off. So, as you can see there, they've put loads of clothes in front of them, so they're obviously not active. And I guess that's because in the area we live, a lot of people do steal and they go into the changing rooms to do it. So what I'm gonna to have to do is take a chance on some of this. So it might have to be returned, but I'll show you what they look like on when I get home. But yeah, I hate buying stuff to take a chance on. I think I'm gonna to have to go for the larger size then of, oh no, oh no, they're fine. 14 are fine. So I don't need a 16. 14 will fit fine, I can tell by that. Um, Right, we're just gonna just gonna go for it, and we might have to return some stuff. So, we're now at the children's clothes section, and I'm gonna stock up on some clothes for Molly and Bella. Oh, look at this little Miss Princess! It's only three pound. That's really good. I'm going to be buying a couple of pairs of leggings for Molly and Bella because when we were in Primark in London, what you didn't see on the video is that I asked Callum to quickly run off and get Molly a pair of leggings in size 6 and he ended up getting size 6 for women. And they you were in the children's section, I picked them up. Yeah, I'm sure, I'm sure. Anyway, so this is the right size Callum, look, size 6 to 7. Years. Yeah. yeah, and the price is a lot cheaper than size 6 for ladies. But it has oh, really expensive those, like really for Exactly. Boxes. We have to return those, but we're gonna get those ones there and we're also gonna get these ones. So in they go. Another five pounds spent. I just saw some glittery ones, Holly. And this changes everything. So those are gonna go back. These are slightly more expensive at four pounds a pair, but look how amazing. What does that remind you of? A starry sky or the, the um, yeah, the Disney store. I couldn't so, think of the word floor. <laughs> <laughs> the floor in the Disney store. So hopefully they've got both their sizes. So they've got six to seven there for Bella, and seven to eight for Molly. They are funky. So that's eight pound. We're now at the section where they have long sleeve t-shirts and I found a few designs that I like for Molly and Bella. They have this one which says adore, so I've got one of these each for them. And I've also found this, but I couldn't find it in Bella's size, so getting it for Molly for now and they're £2.50 each. But for Bella, because they didn't have a match in one of those, I'm getting her this. Mini is my BFF and this one is £3. We should get it because we'll match. Well, kind of, like, we'd be, like, checked. No. Check it out. No. I think you look really nice with that, though. I, I look fabulous in everything. I know, so you should match with me. But, uh, no, matching. I'm not done matching match with you. That's just, like, what sad married couples do. Do you know what the total is so far? A lot. <laughs> On the screen here. There you go, I've done the math. I've just found this top which I really like, it's a polo one and it's quite a thick material and this is £8 and Callum says he likes that. He doesn't want to be matchy matchy but he'll like this. But I, I can then go online and get a top that matches this. You can but then I wouldn't wear that the same day you were wearing yours. So do you want this? What size do you need? This I just don't like the collar. Actually it's not too bad. I think it's really nice. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. I think you should get it. 
Well, everyone knows that you're going to buy it and I'm going to wear it. So. I know, because you wear some really, really terrible clothes. You buy my clothes. I know, but like, that, was just a, <laughs> that was a risk from everything by pain, which you decided to just take. Embrace. Take. <gasps> that t-shirt I love. The kitty one. That was a joke. That pizza, we're going to insert it here. Callum loves this t-shirt that I bought him, and it was meant to be the worst one. It was meant to be the one what you didn't want to wear, and you wear that in public. Yeah. We are getting this. I'm going to get it in a large. You try to sound fat. No, but like you can be more comfortable. Large yeah. isn't no, big. No, I like I like baggy t-shirts anyway. Yeah, large isn't big anyway. So put that in there. My about eight pounds spent. Plain t-shirts here, and these are two pound each. So I think we should grab a few of these for you, Callum, because yeah, get a black. Oh, the <gasps> purple. Oh no, that purple is hideous. Don't care, I want one. Look at that. Yeah. Do you know what I like about plain t-shirts is that you can go onto eBay and buy like t-shirt transfer paper and you can like print anything off. I want a black one as well then. Because I want to make my own t-shirt. You need to get black t-shirt transfer paper. Will we do that for a vlog? We're going to make some t-shirts. I'm not getting you the purple one, that's hideous. Please. No, this one's nice. This one's I great. love you. Don't worry, I'm going to pop that up in a minute. <laughs> This one, that's a nicer colour. That's a lot nicer. I want the purple one. They have some adorable soft toys. They've got this elephant one, which would be perfect to put in like a baby gift basket. They also have this pug, which says it's by a strawberry jam. I've never seen, it's kind of like a cross between a pug and a sausage dog. And they also have flamingos and unicorns. Holly's just found these squeezums, and they're all centered like. They look like the uh, poop emojis. And they're squishies. Yeah, so we're going to pick up a couple of these for Molly and Bella's Instagram. And if you want to know what that is, bing, right here. Also found these My Little Pony collector's figures. And inside you get a collector's card in there too. And I'm going to pick up four of these for Molly and Bella because they're really getting into like unboxing like value toys on their Instagram account which is really good because you guys get to see what you can pick up for your children quite cheap too so we're going to be getting four of those today oh what's this I'm not sure what that is but oh it's a pencil topper but Callum kind of is going to nick the cards out of this for himself I know because he's like collector's card so it's not just for Molly and Bella my little brony I've just found these, they're seatbelt buddies, they have a beef eater and they also have a policeman and if you don't know what a seatbelt buddy is, if you've got a child or even adults and the seatbelt cuts into your neck, you basically just slide this on and it prevents that, so for only a pound, I'm guessing these would have been about 15, so yeah, bargain, not going to be buying them today, but if you need one, you know you can get them in Poundland. I've just found these DIY slime books by Katrina Garcia and I believe she's a YouTuber. Now these originally were $5.99 each so these are perfect to put away for like Christmas presents because you know how obsessed kids are with slime. And I've also found these children's versions of novels. They've got Alice in Wonderland by Lewis Carroll and they also have Oliver Twist by Charles Dickens. So look, catered for children and the retail of these were $4.99 each. They also have a 2019 Nickelodeon Slime Annual. Just found this book by Grace Dent, How to Leave Twitter. I can show you instead of reading a book. Just go like this. There you go, I've left Twitter. You just deleted Twitter? I saved myself a quid there, didn't I? We're now in the food and drink section and Callum is obsessed with cream soda, so he's going to be stocking up. Yeah. I think we've got a long way to go to get to 100. Actually, I'm not sure because some of these t-shirts and stuff are £10, so get your cream soda. And I'm going to be getting some other essentials in here too. I do love the grocery section at Poundland. Daddy's ketchup and they have 70% extra free. I absolutely love this. And I realised where I actually got a taste for this. This was originally in the beef and tomato pot noodles. And I used to just love the sauce from that, so I'm going to get a few of those. They even have Heinz ketchup in here, and it's quite a large size actually. A lot in there, but only a pound. And I'm guessing it's in here because it's a World Cup design. So if you like Heinz ketchup, it might be worth coming to Poundland. 
Callum's just done some adding up. How much we spent? 59.50 so far. Okay, so we have to try to spend some more before the store shuts. It's pretty empty in here at the moment. If you like Twinkies, definitely try these. These are Poundland's version of them and they are so good. Okay. Since we have to spend a hundred pounds, we might as well pick up some kitchen roll. Yeah. Which one do you want? Do you want the grind buster or the so big? All right, let's go for this one extra. This looks like it's, right, let's feel it. Squidgy test, this that one. That really firm. Oh yeah. Yeah, this yeah. one. Always do the squidgy test. Do it on your boobs as well, girls. You gotta make sure you gotta check for your lumps and bumps. Carpets, aren't they? Yeah. That's actually a campaign at the minute, so I'll leave some details of that in the description below. A real hard water area where we are. So the long scale remover is key, because at the bottom of your shower as well, that's insane. Yeah, but you don't put toilet bleach down the shower. Is that what you've been doing? No. No, no, I was gonna, but why not? It's the same stuff, you water it down anyway, it doesn't make any difference. Look, no, you do not put toilet bleach down my shower, you put toilet bleach down the toilet. Let me unblock things. Do you get shower bleach then? No, you can get stuff for your shower. What's this one? Anti fog spray. Definitely mirrors and stuff. That's if you want to spy on someone, you could like spray it, you know, so I don't get all foggy in that, and you can watch someone showering. Well, I don't know why I put the camera on you because no way in a million years would you do that to me and I wouldn't well, do it to you. very big and solid chucked on my head. Yeah, pretty much. They've got loads of novelty gifts here. They've got these mini hands which are a tiny bit useless but big fun which have been really popular on my Facebook page but Callum's just been laughing at this. Bra egg cup holds a pair and they got some duck off shooters. That's actually what it's called. I'm not attempting to swear. Um, and down here they have some toilet roll and also Poundland mugs. I've always got a good eye for stuff, and I holes. Yeah, look, Christmas dinosaur napkins. But I'm wondering if this is part of a range, what they haven't got the whole lot in yet, because I'm guessing you'd have plates to go with that, because they normally have them for like Christmas parties. But these are adorable nutcracker salt and pepper shakers. I can't wait until they have the whole Christmas range in here. Well, they, they will have a whole other aisle, wouldn't they? Because that'll all be gone. Yeah. It's coming soon. The holidays are coming. The holidays are coming. <laughs> Gin chocolates. And they also have... Chocolate liqueur. Prosecco. Prosecco. What's this one next to it? Oh, they're just I can't like... even read it. It's too dark. That says it's teachers. Oh, uh, no, that one's voir. teachers. Yeah, they're like your standard. Mm. Oh, oh they've got Jim Bean down there. Oh, as I'll well. try these. Oh, that's the, uh, well, <laughs> that's the rip. I want to try How these. How big are they like, in comparison? No, but these are multiple. These are yeah. white chocolate. Oh, yeah, look at that. Look at that. I've got a bit of that white Look at that. What's the weight? Flip it. Yeah. The weight of these is 130. The weight of these is 100. Currently at £72.50. I guess it's an odd number due to the clothes, right? Yeah. 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 We spent £85.50, so we have failed on this challenge, but we bought some charity scratch cards to make up, so it's a little bit more near 100. But if you listen, the tills are actually Elvis. And we got some information from the manager who turned around and said it's going to go to Ozzy Osbourne next week, then it's going to go to James Bond, and then to Santa. So if you haven't heard that already, hopefully I'll give you a little bit of inside information. Oh, what's this? Whoa! It likes to take your money. It's one for the money. That's ridiculous. We're now finished in Poundland, we ended up spending £85. It was £80, but I bought five scratch cards because they're charity ones, and I've never tried these before. I'm actually going to compare them to the National Lottery ones because it says one in three wins, but if you win off these, you just take them back into Poundland and they cash them in for you, so I've never tried them. Um, obviously, don't do it unless you are over the age of 18, I believe, isn't 16. it? 16. It's good. Yeah, but... Gamble aware. 
gamble aware. But yeah, 85 pound we failed at this challenge, but we're gonna have to move because there's a, a van that comes. Yeah, so thank you very much for it's watching. Dead, it's dead in Great Yarmouth, not a chad in sight. We will see you soon. Bye. Bye.